Right, it's tournament prep, day 17, sponsored by the Global Pairs Challenge. And just a little reminder, if you're looking to play the Global Pairs Challenge, then I would get in quickly because it's limited spots and you're filling up the How are them sort of getting ready for my competition this week? Um, tomorrow I'm heading there for a practice day, so I'm going to take you along for that one and film a bit, film a bit of the practice day, sort of show you the golf course. Um, but yeah, today I played a very exclusive private members club in Joburg. Absolutely unreal. I was invited by one of the lads that uh, one of the lads that I play Bushveld tour with uh, sent me an invite. Sent me an invite. He messaged me on WhatsApp, um, and I went and joined him today, which was a lot of fun. And it cost me twenty three pounds to play. Probably the best manicured golf course you, you will ever see. It's just unreal. I'm telling you, if you're thinking of a golf trip and you're sort of exhausted all the golf courses in Portugal, Spain, then try, try and look into coming to Joburg. Yeah, the flights are expensive, but the time zone, there's not much of a difference. It's like one or two hours. And then when you get down here, you'll be playing golf courses that will cost you 200 quid around, around London. You'll be paying like 30 quid around and they're just manicured to perfection. Honestly, it's, uh, it's definitely worth looking into. Yeah, swing's feeling good. I'm just really trying to keep it simple. It's just a couple things that I'm working on. Um, filmed a few today and I noticed that my right, uh, my right, oh, sorry, it's been a long day. My right elbow is just getting a little deep and when the right elbow gets deep and the hips get quick, I just get a bit stuck. So you see me get a bit inside. So really the couple things I'm focusing on are just feeling like the club's going slightly outside the line and that right elbow stays nicely in front. And when I do that, just allows me loads of time, hands stay in front and I can hit that little cut. So that's all I'll be focusing on going into this week, playing wise, but yeah, keeping it pretty simple. Short game's feeling pretty good. Just need to really spend a bit of time hitting some putts tomorrow and going through the putting drills just to get that in the right place because you know what it's like when you try and I mean you can't practice putting back home if you're in Europe like you've got winter greens so unless you're doing some indoor work it's really hard to get anything done so yeah I'll be spending quite a bit of time doing some putting drills tomorrow which I'll show you um, but yeah Reading Golf Club haven't seen it yet but I've spoke to a few people it looks like a well it sounds like a nice little golf course Fairly short, fairly tight. It sounds like one that it's definitely better if you do go there and see it. I was sort of debating whether I just get one of the local caddies, but no, I'm gonna go there tomorrow, um, even if it's on my own, which it most likely will be because most of the lads have already played it. I'm just gonna go there and sort of get a feel for it. Right, I've got two iron out. Oh yeah, beautiful. That's quite tidy. I'm suffering from the heat out here. That's one thing that I will say. Um, today was a bit of a, a chance to sort of acclimatize myself. Cause you know, you know what the weather's like back in the UK, it's shite. And today it was 35 degrees and humid. So I got to 17 today. That's the sound of the police. <laughs> I'll just wait for that siren to stop. Sounds like my missus when I don't shut the cupboards in the kitchen. Yeah, today was, um, yeah, I was, I, was, I was struggling. I got to 17, I was like, in hell. Um, but is a, it, the best, I feel like the best thing to do is just to just put yourself through it. Put yourself through it. Like I'm um, running an ultra. Um, but now nah, just try and get your body used to it as quick as possible because I know it's gonna be hot this week. And I don't wanna get to the 12th hole in the tournament and be like struggling then for my head to go. So just trying to chuck myself in at the deep end. It's hard work here. Um, and sort of get my body used to it, like I said. This is feeling all right. 
little slidey fades. Uh, this week is a three day tournament. So it's a two day cut. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the main goal is to, in fact, I say the main goal is to make the cut. We'll get, obviously we're gonna try and go there and win, but I feel like expectations, sometimes when you, when you play your best round, you play your best golf, it can be when your expectations are lower. So there's no point in going, right, I'm gonna try and do this, I'm gonna try and do that. It's best to just get there. Just go through your game plan, execute, and see what happens. Right, I better go because the range is closed. So yeah, just thought I'd do a little update. Bit more content tomorrow. I couldn't film where I was today because it's a very private place and I don't really like too much filming there. Otherwise I would have done lots. After this tournament's done, I'll be doing lots of course vlog matches against other pros out here. So yeah, some really good content coming up. And uh, let's try and have a good week.